The strangest of stories at times can be true. So please cast out your doubt for a moment or two, and I'll tell you a tale of a time long ago and a kingdom that fell to the waters below. Yes, there was a time back before time began when the gods had influenced the marvels of man. In the name of these gods, there sprang forth a great nation whose advances had lit the world with aspiration. Atlantis the great, so noble and wise as the gods did create Atlantis did rise, its capital city, a sight to behold, had temples of ivory and silver and gold, a paradise island of gardens and grace. No land known to man was a nobler place. Their people were blessed with such beauty and health, and their nation progressed with their virtue and wealth. Yet sometime the greatest of things have a cost, and sometimes such virtues and grace can be lost. In time it was said that the beauty had died when their hearts were corrupted with arrogant pride. Atlantis the great having all they would need became hungry for more and were tainted with greed. So they took to the sea with their lust to gain more with their pride and their greed they set sailing for war. Oh the might of Atlantis brought fear to all foes. They lay siege and they conquered all whom they opposed and only one nation withstood their attack. When the strength of great Athens had driven them back, Atlantis the wicked, no longer the great, were ungrateful of all that the gods did create. Atlantis the hateful no longer brought joy, so as gods can create, they can also destroy. And deep in the night their foundation did rumble, their towers were toppled, the temples did crumble. A divine cataclysm, as if gods were to say, all gifts we have given, we now take away. And they threw down the heavens and pushed up the sea until Atlantis, oh Atlantis, was no longer to be. Yes, the greatest of nations was wiped from the earth, for they fell from great grace and forgot their own worth.